Hello, this is the Phantom Safety Pin. Welcome back to Let's Play Spore. Today, we've just taken our first steps onto dry land. And with it, we're discovering a whole new world of creatures. Insert your own Disney song here. Now as a creature, and an omnivorous creature at that, we have many sort of things we can eat, and the big point of this particular stage of Spore is to obtain pieces and evolve. The idea is to become the most evolved species on the planet and eventually create a tribe. So, there's a multitude of things we can do with other creatures in this stage. We can be nice to them or we can combat them. I'm going to show off being social first, just so I can get out of the way. You guys really just want to see me kill other creatures. I know you do. So, it's as simple as this. When you social a creature, you're supposed to go up to them, click on them, and respond with the response they give you. In this case, it's singing. Which we're not particularly good at due to our mouthpiece. That will not change. Now, Ness consists usually of a few normal members and an alpha, which I just sang to her over there. And we have befriended this nest of creatures. Doing that will give us DNA, and typically it will give us more DNA than killing a species will. However, killing species is much more fun, so it's really a trade-off. Now, you might notice we have a few different abilities. For example, we can jump, we can sneak around, and we have the ability to spit poison. These are all a result of the parts that I have put on our cell. We have three different things we can do when we combat a cell, which I'm going to do that right now. Well, creature, sorry, not cell. Now, fighting in creature stage is a little more interesting than fighting in cell stage because, well, what you can do is you have many different ways to attack a cell. You saw me use a charge, bite, and spit combo there. Spit will, of course, spit poison. And I'm not sure how he's eating that with his weird proboscis mouth. Now, alphas tend to be a little bit tougher than normal cell than normal creatures, so they have a little more health and they're a little bit tougher to defeat. They're also usually a little bit bigger than normal creatures. A few more bites and I should be able to get them. There we go. Now, you do want to be careful in cell stage, considering that you don't have much health when you start out here in creature stage. I keep saying cell stage. This is not cell stage, Phantom. Now... I'm going to show off. This is a very common tactic when you're when you're uh, hunting other creatures, is to charge them and then bite them. I tend to use it quite a lot. The other option is just to walk right over and attack them. And the nice thing about the stealth function, which is the... Ah, interesting. I'll hold that thought, because we just evolved a bigger brain. Now, as the game tells us, we have a bigger brain, which means we can add a member to our pack. We can form a pack of creatures. We can have up to four creatures in our pack, including ourselves. You can entice other creatures to join your pack, but it's way, way more fun to just use your own creatures and gain all up on them. On up, yeah. I can't talk. Gain up on them uh, in a big group. You can also impress rogue creatures, which we'll see in a little bit later. Now, these bones you see me digging up are extra pieces. You also get new pieces for your creature by, well, killing or befriending other creatures. But right now, I think we have enough DNA. We have about 115 DNA now, so I'm going to go call my mate and say hi. Of course, I'm going to add a creature to my pack first because, well... You'll see why. And now I'm going to mate with my mate. Aw oh, yeah. Time to make some sweet babies. Oh yeah, baby. You like that? You like my moves? I know you do. And apparently, the females are the ones that do the mating dance in Spore because, as you see, we're the ones laying the egg. So yes, our creature is a girl. Now then, this is the creature creator, the advanced one. This one will let you add different parts to your creature. 
And as you can see, it looks a little bit different from the early creature stage. We have several different pieces. These are our omnivore mouths that we have unlocked. Also for the creepy and cute, and for the bot parts, which is a new add-on that was an add-on that was released during a Dr. Pepper promotion. Um, now the thing about the omnivore mouths for the robot pieces. You can't sing with them. Trying to sing with them will crash the game, but we're not dealing with those, so we're going to add one of my favorite mouths instead. The Liach mouth. These mouthpieces are meant to emulate, well, leeches and plants and other weird things. Now, things you can do in Creature Stage with these mouthpieces is you can adjust the size and the depth and the width of your mouths and how shallow they are. We're going to make them quite small. And of course, we have a variety of different eyes, ears, noses, mouths, and all sorts of legs we can add to our creature. As you can see, here's the creepy and cute ones, and here's the robot ones. I quite like the robot eyes, I think they're very interesting. But we're gonna settle for... that's another one of my favorite eyes, but we're gonna settle for the... this eye right here, Necri, which is, well, it's a cool looking eye. I think it's a really neat looking eye. And I'm going to tweak the eyes a little bit so they open sideways. And those tendrils I have there, I'm going to keep as one of the cellular parts, just because I think they look really, really cool. They're also one of the few movable parts that kind of wiggle around like tentacles. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm tweaking a little bit. We have arms as well, and legs. We have our normal parts, our insectoid parts, and our robot parts. And I won't be adding any robot parts to our cell. I'm going to stick with just what we have. I thought about adding uh, insectoid limbs, but I decided to go with normal limbs. I'm going to keep the legs we have right now. We also have grabbers, our normal, our cute and creepy, and our robots. Um, these let you pick up items, and they're useful for tribe stage. Feet also increase your speed of movement. We have our robot parts, our creepy and cute parts, and our normal parts. I'm going to go with Suctiped here, just because I think it'd be cute to have them have little suction cups. I thought about doing tap toe, which would help us dance, but I decided against it. Now, with feet, you can adjust how they look as well. Um, as with any part, I'm going to update... I thought about updating our horns with keratin horn, but I think I switched over instead... Yeah, I switched over to scimitar here. And you guys didn't want to see all that, so I added some more details. Um, I have added some detail pieces. Scimitar is a weapon. It will give us strike rather than charge, which is great for uh, predatory cell for predatory creatures. I'm adding some details here. Whip Wick, which will give us charm as a skill, which is very useful for socialing. And I've also changed up our poison spit part. So, we've got our new creature. I'm going to change his name. And he's ready to go. If I wanted to, I could add more legs, but I decided against it. So, our creature's ready to go. And the cool thing about creature stage is if you have people in your if you have members in your pack, they will hatch with you when you hatch as your new creature. Aw, aren't they cute? And now our parent is gonna show us our new tricks. And you might also notice on our parent that her mouth is sideways. And that was actually the result of a mistake. I didn't intend to make the mouth sideways, but I thought it looked cool when I did it, so I kept it. So she's showing off all our new skills, which she will always do every time we gain a new skill. And this will teach us how to use our tricks, even if we already knew how to do them before. She's also going to teach us how to dance. I really wish my mom would have taught me how to dance when I was a baby. And now we're all going to celebrate because yay! Our babies know what they're doing. And they can survive on their own. And so here we go. Now that we have our pack members, we're off on our own to go hunt and socialize and just in general do stuff. So I'm going to talk to these guys. Oh look. I'm going to show off what we've gained in our timeline there. Looks like we've encountered someone named Kali 1988's Shagafi. An obvious HP Lovecraft reference. We're going to socialize them because I think they're cute. And we've pretty much easily befriended that alpha shoggy. Now, 
Okay, you might notice that having numbers in your pack allows you to make socialization and hunting easier. And that's the whole point of having a pack, of course. Now, I will do my best to show off people's creations if they're not mine. Uh, in this case, Kali 1988, very nice creature, I very much approve. It's really very cute. You know, for a Lovecrafting abomination. So we're going to move on. We have found another creature. And this one is what I've made, Mr. Mustache. Um, I made him in the early creature creator, which you can access from the main menu of Spore. And we're going to try to be nice with him first. See if that works. And it has. Excellent. Now we're going to go over to the alpha. And of course, if you befriend or kill an alpha, you get a part from it. Which I don't believe I mentioned earlier. But you do indeed get a part for befriending or killing an alpha. As well, as well as DNA for befriending or killing a single member of a species. Typically, you do get more DNA, as I pointed out earlier, from being nice. But again, it's a lot more fun to be evil and be mean and be a predator. Now, one thing that a lot of people didn't like about uh, Spore is it didn't really have any blood in the creature stage. There was no blood and gore in it that you would typically associate with wild animals, and anyone who's watched a wildlife animal documentary can tell you, yeah, animals are not nice. They're not nice when they kill. And here we have another creature that's not mine, a Floba by Waka Waka 80. Very, very cute, Waka Waka 80. I approve. And... I'm not sure. And it looks like I'm trying to kill this guy. Sorry, Waka Waka 80. But, you know, it's life. It's nature. That's how nature do. Now, and yeah, as I pointed out, um, a lot of people did not like when Spore came out that it didn't have any blood in the creature stages, which you, see, you, you would think would be the norm. You also might have noticed earlier that I pointed out that I have modded this game. Um, that is not the typical way that the evolution track looks. Normally it has little brains on it and a different button and everything. However, due to the mod I am using, it looks a little different. It also costs a little more DNA than average to get a new, bigger brain because of the mod I'm using. It also allows us access to the jet, fin, and flagella parts that we couldn't get from Cell Stage. There's another eye feature, Felegant. I thought it was rather cute, so... A lot of your creatures start out very tiny and cute. We're gonna kill them off, too, just because I feel like killing them off. Now, I believe the original Spore's concept did have blood in it, as far as I'm aware. However, EA Games, when they went to go publish it, decided, you know what, we're going to make this a game for kids, make it nice and E-rated, and we're not going to have blood in this, because, well, it's E-rated. Which seems a little bit of a shame to me. It seems like having the brutal nature parts of it would have been a little more interesting. I mean, they already have rotting corpses and everything. Yeah, seriously, if you leave those bodies long enough of your victims, after you kill them, they will start to rot. They'll get flies around them, and you'll hear them buzzing. And now that we've killed off these creatures, we can heal at their nest. We can also raid all of their pieces and parts. Now this is very useful for creatures that aren't very friendly towards you, which we'll meet in a little bit. But right now all our creatures that we meet are fairly good-natured, fairly friendly. Oh, here's one that doesn't like us, as I was saying. These guys. Alpha Roger by Crypod92. Very, very funny, Crypod92. I, I like your attempt at making Roger the alien. Now, these guys are not very friendly to us. Of course, they will start by growling at us when they see us, because, well, they don't want us near, our ne near their nest. Unfortunately, we don't have the skills to impress this guy, these creatures right now, so we're going to have to kill him. The thing he showed off that he was doing, and we just got attacked, wonderful, so we have no choice anyway. But the move that that one Roger was showing off is Pose. And that's a social move, as you, you probably would imagine, and we are not doing well. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, we better get away from here. 
I only have one health. That was way too close. Now, the nice thing being an omnivore is that you can eat anything to regain health. You can eat dead animals, or you can eat fruit. And what happened to that fruit? Holy crap. Wash right the hell up in the air. Wow. But of course, I'm just going to eat some food before I go back and finish off these Rogers. Again, sorry, Cryot. Oh, here's one of my creatures. That is my creature, Wootsie. It doesn't like us, and I don't know why. Okay, considering it was a social creature, and I made it a social creature, it should be pretty open to being nice. And I figured I want a little bit of extra security, so I used our special ability for creature stage, Summon Flock. What this does is it summons a wave of smaller animals to help you out, and uh, help you wreck the bad, the creature's days. Like you're hunting. Or, help you socialize, of course. Because the more animals you have in your pack, the better. And here I do show off that if you destroy any eggs left over, you get extra DNA for it. In this case, 25 DNA. I believe it was originally 20, but the mod changed that. But I might be incorrect. So, all that done. I'm just going to show off that we're still pretty adaptable. We're moving quickly towards Predator. So I'm trying to decide if I want to be a Predator or be adaptable. Now we can head back home and... Back to our sweet, sweet mate who's waiting for us. And make some babies. Headphone users, I apologize. That particular mouth part has a very ear-piercing mating noise. And, yeah, I can't change it. I mean, I could, but it would require putting on a different mouthpiece, and I would really rather not. So we're gonna dance for our mate again, because in the Spore universe, dancing is how a girl gets pregnant. That'll be it, so until next time, this is the Phantom Sagebin signing off, and I will see you later when we are about ready to do something else, migrate, and change our form. Until then, goodbye.